Hello beautiful people! If you saw the previous episode, you will know that we already have a rolling jeep. Now it is time to make a piece of mountain road for it. So today we will go through all the steps for planning and building the basic shape of a multi-level mountain road diorama. We will be drawing, fabricating parts and gluing styrofoam together for most of the time. It sounds interesting to me. What about you, huh? So, our Jeep is ready and we can use it for the mock-up. The second vehicle will be a German zoomed-up motorcycle, but unfortunately it is still in pieces. I downloaded some free view photos and resized them to 1 per 35th scale. All we have to do is glue them on some thick cardboard and then we can cut the basic shape out. And now we have a kind of dummy motorcycle that will be more than good for the mock-up process. I took a 21 cm square of paper. I kind of promised myself that those dimensions would be the biggest I would use in my projects. I draw a sharp curve. The road is 10 cm wide. That would be around 3.5 meter in real life. Then I marked out the fence position. I quickly designed a bigger piece of road on the computer and printed it out. I glued the print on some cardboard and cut it out. As you can see, now we have a piece of road that we can move around on the design paper. For the front view I made a stripe with the side views of the vehicles. In the right scale of course. Well, we can forget about the first 4 cm of height because there will be a nameplate here. Now we can position the vehicles to determine the height and the angle of the road. I also designed a side view. Here we can see the basic shape of the terrain. At that point I also started to play with the dummy pine trees to see the heights. Wait a second, where did those trees came from? I will show you. I draw a simple pine tree shape and cut both halves out of paper. Then I glued the halves onto some cocktail sticks using medium CA and accelerator. Because I wasn't sure about the dimensions of the trees I needed, I made a few of them. I complicated things with cocktail sticks because those 2D trees will become 3D ones in the near future. Ravko, a modeling buddy, came for a coffee. First, he's a professional actor, so he knows a thing or two about staging things. And second, he's a railroad modeler, so it's a win-win situation. We move the curve to the side of the scene. And there will be a piece of retaining wall on the left side. We also determined the positions of the trees. Here you can see the things in the front view. So here is our base plate, a nice square piece of 4 cm styrofoam. I will use 2 cm thick plates of the same material to build the middle level. The 4 cm plate was cut in half outside with my homemade hot wire cutter. We can cut the cardboard to shape now that the road position has been determined. I started building the mid-level from the 2 cm pieces. Be patient and precise and you will be rewarded with the perfect shape in the end. I labeled the pieces in order to know the orientation. The foam was glued with PVA. Always make sure that everything is perpendicular to the ground. At the end I ensured the bonds with toothpicks. The road level structure was cut from a 5 mm kappa plate. The plate was then glued to the structure with PVA. I nailed it just to be sure. Then I built and glued the main structure of the retaining wall. Those walls were not perpendicular. They were always built at an angle. So I cut a piece of styrofoam at an angle of roughly 5 degrees. Some cuts were made in order to allow the material to bend around the structure, which was previously sanded to meet the curve of the road. This piece was then glued to the main structure. The road section was cut from 3 mm styrofoam. I want to keep it removable until the end. Time to do the slope of the road. With a flexible ruler I measured the lengths of the road piece edges. The road starts at 0 mm and ends at 10 mm. We need three triangles of different lengths. I cut those three triangles from 5 mm balsa wood. 
In order to make them meet the curve, we have to make some cuts with the saw. Be careful, you need to go deeper than half of the piece, but stop before the end. Now, all we have to do is snap the piece. I think that this one deserves a like and a subscribe, what do you think? And here we have our slope throat. Now it's time to make the upper piece of the mountain. I just made a template from the cut cardboard. From the cardboard shape I cut 5 pieces of 3 cm in thickness. I marked the road on the first piece. Then I cut out some space for the gravel. The other pieces were cut smaller and smaller in order to obtain a steep terrain section. Those pieces were then glued together with PVA. The basic terrain shape on the bottom was built from 5mm thick plates. Here the terrain is not steep because there will be mostly dirt and grass. Just cut the sections and glue them in place. Be sure that the pieces meet logically if you are doing the level from more pieces. I filled the hole under the street where the rocks will be. The structure is about 5mm below the street because we must leave space for the rocks. I'm still not sure which type of rocks I will use. This one is from a mold by Woodland Scenics. Then some other terrain was added. When we are doing this kind of stairs we always have two options. We can just fill the empty space or we can cut away the picks. It depends on how much volume we need. Those decisions will be made at the end. I cut away the tips of the stairs from the upper terrain piece. I used a homemade hot wire cutter. As you see, I was following the shape of the piece. Then some irregular shapes were added with a kitchen knife. Those two big gaps were also added to make some space for the pine trees. As you see now, the trees have become 3D ones. I just added the other two pieces of paper. The shape of the trees was simply cut with scissors. On the real ones, it would not be so easy. I quickly made some rocky pieces for the lower wall. As previously stated, I'm unsure of what type of rocks should be used. For now, I see three options. A silicon commercial mold, a homemade aluminum foil mold, or rocks made from styrofoam like this. I made this rocky wall in under 10 minutes. And I must admit that it doesn't look bad at all. We will see. Finally, our basic structure is coming together. I almost forgot the biggest tree. This one will make a nice filler for this space on the diorama. And here we go. Quite a lot was done in a short video, huh? In the next episode we will be adding real textures to our elements. So it will be all about rocks, dirt, gravel and stonework. And now, though I wasn't expecting it, it's time to thank my first Patreon. So, thank you Alpenhowler. Welcome to the team. You know, he has been getting exclusive content for a week now and we are having a great time together. If you really like my work and you want to subscribe to a kind of interactive diorama tutorial community, please go to Patreon and pay a visit to my page. You get a lot of stuff for a small amount of money. Otherwise, I will invite you to subscribe to this channel and help me grow it. And yes, I'm on Instagram too. What else? Nothing. This is it for this week. Have a nice time. Bye.